That might have just been fish one. Oh my gosh! Dude, I got one right away. I didn't. Oh, it's a giant! Like that. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness! He ate it. Dude, I don't know if you guys saw that. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gents, we are gonna be searching for some of these pond monsters today, baby. It is a beautiful day. We're still in the springtime. We're more than likely gonna catch a lot of big bass on bed. And I am so excited to bring you guys out with me. In the last few pond hop videos, we've been keeping it pretty basic. We've been throwing a Texas rig with a little crawl style bait on there and catching a ton of fish. And we're gonna be doing that today again, but we're gonna be trying to catch some bass on some moving baits as well, which we're gonna to get to later on in the video. The pond that we're out at today, very clear water. As you guys can tell, it's got a good bit of grass up here on the edge. And what we're gonna do is pretty much walk this corner area and see if we can find any of these bass bedding. With that being said, we are gonna start off with the Texas rig and try to sight fish some of these bass. I got it paired up on my Kicking Their Bass TV X Lose combo. If you guys wanna check it out, kickingtheirbass.com. They'll be linked down below. Fishing has been heating up and you guys need to get out there and catch some big fish. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into this. So we got a quarter ounce bullet weight, tungsten bullet weight on a three eye extra wide gap hook. Got it tied on there with a uni knot. We got a whole box right here of some mock crawls. And this is what's really been our bread and butter recently. With this water being very clear, we're gonna go after a color that we haven't really used much. This is a green pumpkin with a gold and purple flake in it. And this one looks pretty saucy, baby. It looking good now. Boom, just like that. And that is the rig that we're gonna start off with today. I'm actually excited to throw some moving baits here later on, maybe even at this pond, depending on if we don't see any pushed up shallow. But you know, we've been fishing a Texas rig so much recently, just because of, you know, the time of year, we've been sight fishing these bass and it's just, this is the bait that gets it done around this time of year. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button, really helps the channel, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, so this grass is gonna be a hassle, but I'll tell you, we usually put the boat in on this lake. I don't usually bank fish it, and there's a little ditch out here in the middle that some of these pre-spawn and post-spawn fish could be sitting in. We're going to make a few casts out there. Let's see if we can find any of these fish in that deep little hole. I, I just get bit. Oh my gosh, I got bit, dude, right away. Okay. I already didn't mess up my crawl. That's good. That is crazy, man. First cast out there. Sometimes they will stack up so good in a little dip tray. They're right at the mouth of this pocket. All right, to be honest with you guys, I'm not really feeling this pocket with how the grass is, but there is another side of this pond that we can go hit. So let's go ahead and go over there. That corner's a little more flat. I don't think that there would be as much grass over there. So let's go check it out. All right, this spot be looking juicy for a giant, man. Already. Ready to get it rocking and rolling, boys. We just need to get us a fish and get some momentum. Just need us a bite, man. We ain't asking for much. Nothing too crazy, just a bite. Then we start catching them giants, you know? That looks so good, man. I can't believe there wasn't one on those rocks. These fish are in a weird stage right now, I feel like. Dude, I totally thought that was a snake. There's like a rope right there. That freaked me out, I'm not gonna lie. I <laughs> looked too close to a snake. And we're stuck. That is crazy, bro. Ay, ay, ay. Well, we broke off our Texas rig. Not what we were wanting to do, but that gives us an opportunity, okay? I know it sounds weird, we did lose a lure, but that gives us an opportunity, boys. For us to put on a chatted dog, boy. Listen, OGs of the channel know the chatted donkey don't play no games, bro. Okay, it's been a minute too. 
I haven't thrown a chatter donkey in a while. This springtime bite's just been so good. But this this pond or these ponds we've been to, this is a lake that we're fishing, but they're just not bedding right now. Does that mean that we're not going to find some beds today? I think we are, okay? But the places we've hit so far, thus far in this video, they're just not, they're not there, man. And it's time to try out the old chatter donk. I got a mock schooler on the back of it, small presentation. This puppy should get munched. Ooh, I was about to walk up on that bank, man. There was a big old slithery boy. All right, if I feel good about a bank, I feel good about this bank. Let's get it, baby. The alligator still, yeah, he's just chilling. He is chilling. He's chilling like a villain. I feel this though. I'm telling you, this bank, so I'm about it right now. I'm just tingling, man. Oh, oh, we got a, we got a nice one, dude. We got a nice one. Oh yeah, come on, baby. Come on. I thought I had the dang tree, dude. It caught me off guard. I'm over here paying attention to this boat going by. There we go. Give us a good little two pounder, baby. Start it off. Come on, man. Not a giant, but she ate that chatter donkey now. Oh yeah. There we go, guys. I was about to say there's no fish up shallow, but that fish was up there on that lay down and it was on the chatter dawn, guys. First fish of the day, get us started. Let's go, baby. It took us a while, man. I ain't gonna lie. We've been fishing for a long time. We've hit a bunch of different spots. We haven't gave up. We kept hunting. Boom, we got a bite. Let's keep on going. It's crazy because I fished down this whole bank and hit all those trees. I mean, I was pinging this thing right off all of those trees. Not a dang nibble, man. And this last little lay down here in this corner. Oh my gosh, that was a tree. Last little lay down happened to have an old bass on her. And I was about to like change my strategy up completely. I'm like, there's none of these fish are up shallow, even close to it. And then we got a bite. It feels good to get a moving bait bite. It's been a minute, man. I'm throwing pretty much all soft plastics for the most part for a while now. I'll tell you, where there's one fish, there's always another. So let's keep on casting. I'm sure there's going to be one in this pocket somewhere. Oh, that bite was insane, dude. What a thump. Holy cow. Oh, man. Dude, I went all, all over those trees. I was reeling it back there. And that, dude, he just slapped the ever-living crap out of me. Oh, my gosh. Let's see if we can get him to bite again. I feel like that was a good fish. What? I bet you there was a dang fish under there that just jumped. Dude, you see how close this is to the water? I stepped right there, and I heard a fish jump, bro. What's going on today? They're jumping everywhere, but on my line, I'll tell you that. We grinding for it today, boys. We want it, we're hungry. And I'll tell you, this is the day that we catch a giant, I know. We're moving around a ton, we're being patient. We're trying to figure figure out how they're biting. I had a cold front the other day, like one of the first warm days back. And we're just being patient with these fish. It's gonna happen, I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. There we go. Is that big juicy? Oh my goodness. This is a good one. Right out there in the middle. Let's go, baby. It ain't big juicy, but it's a good one, man. <laughs> oh, let's go. She clobbered that chatter donk, man. Oh yeah, good three pounder. This moving bait bite just feels good, man. It's been so long. And look how she ate that thing. You think she wanted it? Let's go, baby. High to high two pounder to three pounder right here. If she was fatter, 
Should be every ounce of three pounds, but I think she's a little shy, two and three quarters. Beautiful, healthy fish though. And right out there in the middle, we might find them stacked up, boys. We just might find them stacked up. Thank you, baby. Here she goes. Holy cow. All right, we get on to something. We found an area where we're getting bites. They're far and few in between. But I'm gonna be honest, guys. I think if we keep on fishing, we're gonna get some big ones, boys. They're gonna come. The size of the fish has been pretty good, man. Nothing ultra fat like recently just because these fish aren't on bed. These are possibly post-spawn fish. But that fish was still healthy and, and uh, she wasn't really skinny, you know. She had a, still a good thick body to her. All right, we got the ball rolling at this lake, but we're going to keep on moving and keep hunting around. I think uh, I'm going to go to a different side of this lake and see if we can find some more fish over there. We didn't get many bites. We had three bites, landed two of the fish. And that's the start, guys. Let's keep on moving, man. Okay. There's definitely still some fish on bed around here. Yeah, there's a good bit of beds in this little corner. I'm not saying we can't catch them on this chatter dog. But man, that's that's a good sign. I feel good about these docks that we're coming up on too. A lot of fry. Look at that. Whoa! little tiny bass chasing him look at that look at that and there's another big bed right oh dude there was a freaking giant on that bed there is no way bro he was literally sitting right there right when i pointed at him he, he went off What did I say a second ago? I said, I feel these docks. And just got one right on the edge. First cast on that dock, dude. Let's go, baby. Oh my gosh. Let's hope that they're loaded on these docks because there's a lot of them down this bank. Another fish on the chatter dong. Not a big one. That is a sick bite right there, right next to that kayak. Heck yeah, baby. Let's go. Saw a fish on bed, spooked her off, kept on fishing, got her on the dock, baby. Dude. Something big just swam off right there. Look at the boil, look at the boil right there. Man. I feel like we're just missing some of these big bites, like just barely. Either they're not eating it the first time I go across and I walk up on them. Big one right here. You about to eat it. He ate it. Let's go, dude. <clears throat> it's a long fish, dude. Holy cow. She was just roaming up on that bank. And I threw it about five foot behind her. And I saw her kind of go crazy. I didn't know she was running away from it. But she was just firing up to come eat it, man. That's why you gotta pay attention, guys. You walk in the bank, you know, we let a couple opportunities get away from us. That fish on bed, look at the head on that thing. Just long body, really skinny. That's a post-spawn fish feeding up. Pretty bass. But I'll tell you, you know, we let two opportunities go by. We saw that fish on bed, and then we saw another fish on the bank that we just totally didn't see at all. And that thing, what I was looking for, and this is one of the most important things to pay attention to in the springtime, is he had his i saw his little black tail and that's one why i knew it was a bass and two why i spotted him so looking for that black tail is one thing that you need to be doing in the springtime it's, it's an easy way to spot a bass and he was just he was up shallow there man he wasn't bedding or anything he was just feeding i felt his sharp lips too he's been eating bait fish well, there we go working slow and methodical down this bank recovering a lot of water Still keeping our eyes peeled. That might have just been a fish swim up. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, that was the craziest catch I've, I've done in a long time. Oh my gosh. Dude. I literally skipped under that bank and before I even clicked my reel, he already had it. Tiny bass, but that was insane, dude. Oh my gosh, what just happened? Dude, that is unbelievable, man. 
Heck yeah, thank you, buddy. Oh, splash me. That was our smallest fish all day, but probably the coolest bite that we've had in a long time. Oh my goodness. That was the most instant skip to catch I've had in a long time. I saw a little boil, or I saw something on the corner of that dock. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna skip up here real quick. And sure enough, she grabbed that thing, man. That was the quickest little deal. And we're coming up on this point up here and it looks like there's a couple of beds. And you know, we saw that one fish get off bed, so we need to pay attention here. Keep our eyes peeled, try not to get too ahead of ourselves. Look at that, little tiny guy. Same way as that other that last fish, dude. I threw in there and he already had it. Jeez. I haven't found any of the big ones on this bank yet, but we're getting bites, man. It's just a matter of time before we hook one of these monsters, I'm telling you. You keep weaving through those small fish, keep covering water. It's gonna happen. All right, boys. This lake has done us well. We've cut a lot of fish out of it, just not catching the size. So I think it's time to uh, go to a different pond and see if we can find some fish on bed. And keep on moving, baby. We got a long walk there. I got about a mile walk back to the car. So <laughs> I'll catch you all in a bit. All right, we have finally made it out to a new spot. And I came to this place a few days ago and there's some, dude, there's a big fish right there. She's going right over towards it. Look at that. I cannot believe that biggest fish today is a hunchback, dude. Oh my goodness. That was the quickest catch we've had all day. And look at this thing. Oh my gosh, calm down, baby. You're getting dirty. Hey, calm down. Calm down. Look at that bass, man. I cannot believe that. I just saw her swimming right there on the left. And there's another fish, dude. And look at that. A little hunchback for a bass. That is a high two pounder. We're gonna throw her back. There's another one right here under this tree. All right, guys, let's get back in there, dude. I don't have time to talk to y'all and explain about coming out here. We gotta try to catch this other fish. Oh my goodness, come on. Dude, I can't believe that, bro. Just got out here. She went right over to it too. It was like instant. I don't know where that other one went, but she was sitting right under that tree where I just caught that one. To go back on what I was saying, you know, we fished that big lake we came out here the other day and we saw some fish on bed and we also saw some other big ones roaming. So I was like, you know what? We need to come try out here. When we were only with the video we were doing, we we're fishing a tackle box that only had Texas rig baits. So that's all we're fishing. So I'm like, <gasps> oh my gosh, dude. Oh. Dude, there is no way that fish saw me too. Son of a gun. That was a nice fish. Dude, that one was every bit of three to four pounds. She was coming after it. She just didn't have enough time, man. Holy cow. Maybe throwing the moving bait in here is the move. Let's put our heads down. Let's keep casting. There's some big fish in this corner. I couldn't get them to bite the other day. We got one to eat on our first cast. Then just had another big and just follow us in. There's so much grass over here. I have an idea on something that I think would kill it in here. So I brought this other tackle box out right here that have a bunch of different baits in. And I've been having a lot of fun with this chatter donk. But I think I have an idea, boys. I got an idea, okay? He's got to trust in me. Believe in me for a minute, boys. I think that we should throw with how grassy this water is. If we throw this weightless fluke just on a standard EWG, we're gonna be able to go through that grass code. We're gonna be able to work the bait slow. We can work it fast as well. And I think we should be able to get some good bites on it. So let's go ahead and get us an extra wide gap hook here and tie this fluke on. I think we're finally getting into the fishing we've been wanting to do all day. I'm just glad we caught some on moving baits. I just had this idea of coming out here because I was like, these fish just seem staged up right. Now we're gonna put this white fluke, just a standard pearl fluke, nothing, nothing crazy. We're just gonna throw a weightless on this hook. This is a bait that I catch fish any time of year anywhere. Especially when you're pond fishing, this, this should be your best friend in grassy ponds. All right, let's get the casting. I don't know where that big fish went, man, but she was actually going to eat my bait and then I think she saw me and 
kind of freaked out. So we're gonna twitch this fluke about two or three times and then just let it fall. Let it sink very slow. Twitch it a couple times. She got grass on her. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, boys. This is it. Dude, I got one right away. I didn't, oh, it's a giant. Let's go. This is what we've been waiting on all day, guys. And it's a freaking good one, man. Oh my goodness, we just tied her on. We didn't even move the bait, dude. That is a big one too. Oh yeah. Look at that fish. Let's go, baby. Right there on the fluke, man. I can't even believe that I had a gut feeling. And that is why you go with your gut feeling right there, boys. You can't even make this up. Unbelievable. Let's go, baby. That is almost a four pounder. I don't think she's fat enough. She's thick as can be, but that's a good three pounds. Three and a, that's a good three and a half pound fish. Let's go, man. Just long and thick. Not a super big belly. This could be a post-spawn girl, but beautiful bass. You could tell her tail's actually a little bloody. But she was right out there in the middle, dude. I didn't even move it. Threw it out there, let it sink. And she was already on there. Thank you, baby. Wow. That is just the coolest thing. We have an idea. We tie it on. It wasn't our first cast, but our second cast. It would get whopped with the biggest fish of the day, man. Let's go. Let's keep it moving. I don't know if you guys knew. I mean, I was a, that was a far cast out there, too. I mean, I just threw it just like that. Clicked my reel. I didn't even twitch it yet. I was just letting that puppy just kind of glimmer down and fall. And when I reeled up, I felt the pressure. I'm going to be real, guys. If we would have had this on instead of the chatter donk in front of that one fish that didn't eat it, we would have been working it slow enough for her to eat it. We would have caught that one as well. But we live and we learn, and I just got eaten again. Oh, my goodness. That's another good fish. Dude, that one's bigger than the last one. No way. No freaking way. Oh, that's a freaking tank. Let's go, baby. Oh, look at that fish. Freaking brute. They are smoking the fluke, man. This one's actually fat as can be. Let's go, man. Oh my gosh, look at that fish. That's another three and a half to three and three quarter pound fish. And she smoked the fluke, man. Look at that one. That's a straight brute, brother. It's, it's honestly a really short fish for how big she is. Oh my goodness, what did we just get? What did we just get into, boys? <laughs> what did we just get into? Thank you, baby. Oh my gosh. I threw it right over there, dude. I popped it twice. I could actually see the fluke. It's pretty clear water. And all of a sudden I saw it disappear. I didn't feel her bite out of anything. I just saw the fluke just disappear. And I'm like, yep, that's it. Searching for these giants today. And we starting to find the better ones, man. I still want to see a five, six, seven, eight pounder. Just as much as you guys. But I will take those three to four pound chunks any day of the week, man. Let's throw back over in that pocket. There could be some more fish. I can't believe how good they're eating this fluke, dude. I mean, we've thrown a total of four casts, maybe five with this thing, and caught our two biggest fish of the day. I just feel like we're not done with this, dude. This is about to be insane. There are more fish out there that are willing to eat it. Oh my gosh, that looks way too good. Way up in that grass. This fluke's a little destroyed. It's running, not running perfect how I'd want it to, but we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to deal with it. All right, let's go into the forest, bro. Into the forest. Oh yeah, boys. We finally found the secret juice, I feel it. We'll walk down here quietly, keep our eyes peeled. Make sure we don't spook off any fish. Oh yeah. Dude, this looks so good. Oh. Just be looking spicy. Oh, dude, 
just wondering. Dude, I don't know if you guys saw that. I do not know if you guys saw that. Oh my goodness, this is another good one, dude. Another three pounder. Did you guys see that fish? I hope the GoPro could see that dude because he was clear as day. That was the craziest bite that we've had in a minute. Dude, I threw up in that tree. And right to the left, it was honestly right in front of me. This fish was just sitting. There we go. Another close to three pound fish with how fat that belly is. Gosh, we are on them in here, guys. We've been waiting on this all day. Thank you, baby. That was such a cool eat. Watching that fish eat it, you cannot beat that, man. Oh, man. After a slow morning, we are getting on what we've been waiting for. Sadly, it looks like this fluke might be done, man. Let's just go ahead and pull this puppy off. Let's put this other new one we have on. Hopefully we can just keep this one good, fine, and dandy and keep on catching them. This bank can usually be pretty good for a big fish. Let's see what we got, man. Let's see if we can call out a big fish off this bank. That fluke looks too good, man. I'm, that thing's twitching perfect. It's just supposed to look like an injured bait fish going through the water. So pretty much I'm just working this thing pretty fast because I can see it here. I'm trying to spot any of these fish that come up and eat it. Like I was saying, this water's so gin clear, I can kind of see all of it. I'm working it very close to the top of the surface. I give it about three pops and I just kind of let it glimmer down. Give it a couple more pops, let it glimmer down. So what this is showing to the fish, this bait has so much sporadic movement. And when the fish sees it, you know, it's popping, going crazy. Then all of a sudden it just starts falling down. Usually on that fall, that's when they're gonna eat it. And the reason being is because they think, okay, that's an injured fish and that's an easy meal. And when they see that fish or that bait start to fall, they just smoke it. All right, guys, there's another opening down this bank over here. So we're gonna walk back and see what we can do over there. Oh, he ate it like a top water. He ate it like a top water. He's running at me. Oh my goodness. This might be a big one. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I can't believe this. The size of these dang fish. He ate it like a dang topwater, guys. It was like that first one we caught on. I threw my bait out there. And dude, I just saw a swirl on it. I didn't feel him or anything. That's another three pounder, dude. It's just so crazy how they're eating this fluke right now. Beautiful fish. Saw just a little swirl. There's some beds. These fish, this pond is very shallow and flat and I could see some light spots over there. I threw right in and she was done. I caught a fish there the other day, similar size. And I mean, dude, I didn't even have to do it. Oh my gosh, did a backflip for us. There she goes. I didn't have to twitch that bait. I didn't have to pop it. I didn't have to reel it. I didn't even have to feel it. She was already on there. That, that bass is super territorial, dude. I mean, instant. And I missed the bed by like three or four foot. It wasn't like I was right over the bed. She swam right off of it and smoked it. I knew we would see some bed bass today. This pond was pretty obvious for it. But there we go, man. That's our first one we've officially, at least that we know of, that we've caught right off the bed. I'm gonna throw back over there. There's like three beds. Might get eaten again. It would not surprise me. Yep. There we go. I didn't even move it. And it's another good fish. No way. This is unreal, guys. We're having a day. One of the best days of fishing we've had in a long time. Oh my gosh. She's taking me right up in that grass. She ain't as big as that last one, but that's a good two and a half. Beautiful fish. Dude, did we just find the bed fishing secret? I mean, usually when we're bed fishing for bass, we're, we're fishing on the bank. They can see us, we can see them. And they're usually not this aggressive. Either they're going crazy on this fluke right now, which I think is an automatic answer, or they're biting on the bed out there really good because they can't see us. 
but I just caught that one fish. I threw right back in there, did the same thing. Didn't move the bait and got another beautiful fish. Pretty green colors on this one. Beautiful lateral line, thick and healthy. Holy cow, man. This has turned into an insane day of fishing. And I think the only thing we could do from here is to throw back out there. There's about three beds that I can see with my eye and there could be some more fish, man. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see. We're just gonna throw it out there. We're not moving it. All right, I'm gonna give it a couple twitches. Dude, I can't believe she ate it the same way as that other fish. I think there's some more beds out here too. If I'm not mistaken, that sun's kind of bright right on us. Right where I just cast, it looks like I can see about three more light marks. I don't know if they'll be on that bed as good as those, but there should be some more fish out here that are catchable. They're just, they, they can't resist the fluke. They're just smoking it like that. I can't believe it. Oh, this is another nice one. Good two and a half, man. Come here, baby. They can't resist it, bro. <laughs> they can't resist it. If there's a bait today, this is the bait, dude. Gut feelings pay off. That bait was good, wasn't it, buddy? I think it was tasty. Got you a little snack snack. Another good two and a halfer. They're getting smaller. Hopefully we can get one. I'm still waiting on that thing. Five, six, seven pounder, guys. I know they're here. Thank you, baby. 